camp. Jesus. <laughs> That's why it's broken. So Stella just. <laughs> <laughs> I ducked. We're in trouble. Oh my god, we're in trouble. It's fenced in. Yeah, but she'll jump. Yeah, go to that she one. just jumped. Our horse can jump, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. If she jumps that fence and goes over into the highway, I'm gonna lose my mind. So we're doing a sneak attack. Hey guys, welcome to this video. Gabby, pay attention. Uh, welcome to this video. This video is all about. Stella. Stella, I didn't think you knew. Anyway, today is Stella's one year anniversary. We had Stella for one year today. And you guys all know, we've been through the ringer with this girl. This is our first actual horse that taught us that horses aren't easy, aren't always easy. So um, some of the things that I wanted to discuss and share with you guys on Stella's one year anniversary is this incredible journey. Sophie, how's this journey been for you? Has this been a smooth journey for you, Sophie? I don't know. Has this been a smooth journey for us? No. No, it has been a journey, that is for sure. Has it been the best journey? Yes. Has it been the best journey? A storm. Storm is the best journey for Gabby, but has this been a good journey for us with Stella? Yeah. Yeah, it has been hard, but it has been so worth it. Um, you guys know when we first went to go see Stella that she wasn't perfect. She was a risk. We took a risk, and um, she was a rescue, and uh, lots of times rescues are so skinny. You have to put weight on, put weight on, but what was Stella's uh, problem? She Take weight off. Fat. Yeah, she was too fat. She was eating her way to heaven in a field with grass up to here where she stayed 24-7 all the time for two years and she was struggling. Two days before we got there, uh, the farrier had come and cut off her hooves and we suspect that she was like, probably... Like literally chopped them off. We suspect <laughs> that she was foundering or she had foundered in the past. Zara. Do you like Zara? Yeah, I Wait, how's it spelled? Z-A-R-A -A, probably. I don't think he did. When, I think he just hopped on and kicked and she galloped. Yeah, like he literally. He hopped on and off the wrong side. But it doesn't matter because you can do whatever you want with your own horse. So it stop does. hating. No, it it's just judging other people Yona, is not cool. Claire and I were like, oh God, that's got to stop. <laughs> so basically, he would jump on her and kick and she would fly and we didn't think much of it other than like let's get her out of here um the goal was for her to be sophie's uh beginner safe horse and it turned out really well like that the um theory was that if it didn't work out for sophie and her if stella proved to not be a good beginner safe horse then she would become my trail horse like if she decided she wasn't a good lesson horse then it should be my trail horse that was the goal from the very beginning but he used to get on and make That's her gal and when i she... got stella and um she was at our barn and i rode her for the first time there she was like so speedy i had to keep circling yeah i remember when we first got stella and we brought her home we were like i don't know what we with our limited knowledge we did not even expect anything other than her being just like storm just the easy going but every time you get a new horse um there's such a big process of making them your own and that did happen she was speedy she had sore feet we had to put shoes on her and she still kind of didn't mesh with us there was like a big huge divide between us all but we persevered and we did a lot with stella we did so much with stella we didn't even think about what could go wrong with stella we just trusted we took her swimming <laughs> yes she was splashing the water she blobbed the water and i thought her house go slow you have the will and the moment to spare it's a beautiful world out there Let her have a little sip. She, she's feeling it with her nose. Just drink it. Oh, look at her! <laughs> look at my shoe. Come here. Come. <laughs> look at Stella! Yay! Good girl! 
we took her camping and I think that was a lot more than she ever expected. But I do think she loves being outside. Do you guys think she loves being outside? Kind of. I think she loves trails. So it always has to be in the lead. She likes to lead. No. We bought her. The man said that she was terrible at loading. That when he loaded her, it was a nightmare. And so we took time and we trained her to load well before we took her on any adventures with us. And um, she did phenomenal. She showed us that with a little bit of love and a little bit of attention, that she could she could be phenomenal. Girl, what an amazing horse you have, Sophia. And everything seemed to be going according to we plan. We all have like a pet. Sophia yeah. has There's like hand. a pet here in front of every single one of us. Like the day by day family, it does nothing without pets. You guys don't always see them, but they're always here. Where are the other two? Toby's um, right there. The Macy's. Oh. Macy's so. so um, things went along according to schedule and I think Stella really, really did settle in the best that she could with the knowledge that we had of her and we felt like we had fixed most of her physical issues and um, then we found out that she had a fusing hawk after a camping trip that must have been maybe a little too much for her. We did a trail ride that was four hours long. We didn't know it was going to be four hours long. We had no idea. Um, and so two hours there two hours back. So then we battled that issue for a little while. We did not know How hard it was gonna get with Stella until we moved the barn that we were at closed down and it was a barn that we brought her to and it was um, the barn that we learned to ride her in and um, It was the second move for her in about three months take we didn't know what could happen we knew that she was on like we knew she was nervous but we didn't realize it, it, the extent to what she was trying to tell us and um so that's when it all started to go downhill for us our trainer was dealing with a lot of issues on her own her her, her pregnant mare colic and she was moving her horses around and um her husband was away her support and she had a lot on her plate and then she sprained her ankle like in the worst way like it was a bad bad sprain and she couldn't even be there for us physically she was there for us emotionally and all that brought us into getting another trainer which like god it has a plan you guys like we have another trainer now because of all the bad things that happened to us and we love our new trainer don't we yeah like i can't imagine life without our other trainer but anyway um so very, very soon after we moved barns to this big, beautiful, amazing barn, then all the trouble started and Stella started to spook. Whoa, 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 okay, hold on, hold on to her, hold on to her, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, okay, hold on a little bit. got really scary it was a really scary time and we didn't know what we were gonna do with Stella we were all afraid to ride her we were all it was just really scary time did I catch that I don't know did you I see that it. she jumped from like there the cat just came oh, whoosh there. and jumped hopefully we caught it and now we're but anyway um so after the spooking things started to things that continued to progress in a downward spiral with Stella and um she 
got on a round bail even though she was supposed to be losing weight and her weight started to get bigger and bigger and bigger and the crest on her neck started to get bigger and bigger and bigger and then I just kind of stood back and watched knowing that this was going to explode on us and it and I was watching because I knew it was going to happen I was watching I was watching every single second and the minute that she showed signs of foundering I called our vet. I called him right away and he came and he said that, you know, she needs something different. She needs oh. a smaller barn. She needs a smaller environment, some places she can walk around in a tiny area and you guys are going to have to get her weight down no matter what. And just, just, and so that's what we did. We, by, but by this time we just moved to our new farm, which has a barn and in arena yeah like just in the nick of time god gave us this farm and this barn and this arena and we were able to bring our stella home and in and it was pure freezing cold winter put shoes back on her and we took time and we just bonded and spent time with her and we found her a little friend and to keep willow. her company yeah that's how One willow was born willow. yeah that is how willow was born into our family and um we let her out in the arena in a very small paddock. A lot of people thought that we should get rid of Stella. A lot of people thought we should lease her out. A lot of people thought that we were not the right family for her. And all along, I maintained that we are not going to ever quit Stella. And the big reason for me was that Stella has health issues. It costs a lot of money to heal. Um, a lot of money every single month. She has... Um, a history of running when she's scared and putting her in a new environment and and us knowing all of these things like how how do you rehome a horse that you don't know if they're gonna uh, if they're going to Bolt. understand what her limitations are and do what's best for her and yeah lots of families out there would but I feel like Stella was meant to be ours at least at this time and I'm grateful for her and the lessons that she's taught us. And I we just she, can't get rid of her. Yeah, I, I, I'm so glad we kept her. I'm so glad that we're getting to see the Stella that we know today and the Stella that we love and the Stella that we can ride again and the Stella that we were able to spend time and bond and... and Am I dreaming? You guys! Oh my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Better stick together, let's come whatever We're not coming home tonight We're living quick in this world Gonna get it right now We only need the two She's either together. really dirty and doesn't like it Or she loves us Or she wants a treat We only need the two of us together <laughs> Good girl You're amazing See, she's just holding out, you guys. Everything worth having is worth waiting for. And it, we always argue whose horse Stella is going to be, but she is always going to be all of our horse. I know. I know. <laughs> she is always going to be all of our horse because we have all had a part in her. Gabby does a lot of work with her, training her. I do a lot of work loving her. And, and I Sophie, her so slow Sophie did a lot of bonding with that girl. You'll see in the video where we went in the winter and we went after she spooked a lot and we took a step back and Gabby spent, Sophie spent so much time working with her and I think that played a lot of in who she is now too. Thank you. I wanted to thank all of you guys for following along in our journey with Stella. It's been a crazy journey just like you like you just saw, but it's been the most one of the most rewarding journeys of our life. I'm so happy to have you guys along with us. Um something I didn't mention was that you guys have helped us so much in Stella's journey. Every single one of you plays a part in Stella's journey. I wish she every single one of you guys could come and meet her and groom her and spend time with her. Anybody who meets Stella is somebody who loves Stella. And hmm. I am. Um, and I want to just say thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of all of our hearts, for being there and supporting us and supporting Stella and loving her. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you back here in one more year for Stella's two-year update. Bye! Bye. I've been pushing away Everybody I love I don't know what to do Need a sign from above
don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.